in this question they ask us to compute the double integral over d uh, of square root of 4 minus x square minus y square da where d is a disk do you know what disk is so basically if you got used to circles uh, as you can see there's an inequality instead of equation x squared plus y squared equals 4 which is 2 squared you do recognize that this is a circle centered at 0 with radius 2 based on the formula uh, that will be a circle right a circle a disk is called everything less or equal than 4 so it's all including all the inner part so it's a disk and then we want to find this volume of the solid, right? So let's first notice that this is the function inside of the integral. Let's call it z. It's a square root 4 minus x squared minus y squared. Or z squared equals 4 minus x squared minus y squared. Or x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 4. This is a sphere, right? The surface of the sphere, actually. But we need to remember that originally the pieces here were inside of the square root. So z has to be positive or 0. z is restricted to be positive or 0. So it doesn't go below 0. So it's actually the hemisphere so this is going to be called hemisphere right hemisphere centered zero at zero 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 and then radius again two two squared which gives you two this is a nice picture look at that i found it i made it in the wall from in the wall from alpha so it's exactly the upper hemisphere upper hemisphere because z has to be positive or zero well we do know actually the volume the volume of a sphere v is four thirds pi r cube hopefully you remember this formula but if not you can google so if we need half of it then the uh, volume of hemisphere let's put sub h will be one half of that four thirds pi r cube so that is two thirds pi r cube but then the radius is given radius is two so let's plug radius is given then volume becomes two-thirds pi times four let me write down two squared for you which gives you 16 over 3 pi four times two oh it should be cubed not squared cubed and this is the answer um, kind of probably supposed to explain the idea why we start looking for volume because now it looks obvious but at the beginning did you get it they ask us to compute double integral below this surface what surface surface of a hemisphere upper hemisphere so they ask us to commute compute the volume below this upper part of the ice cream yeah but it is the volume of the hemisphere and we just know it so we don't have to write down the integral the important part is that the base matches the size and the base is given by this disk and it's not just a circle it's a, also a disk that's why the inequality matters so it makes a very beautiful shape all filled in with ice cream for example and they ask you to find volume of that that's it. Let me zoom in the beautiful picture and you go ahead and watch more videos.